So this is another um, student question that came through in one of the webinars. What were some of your biggest challenges or hurdles and how did you overcome them? So if I look at my own PhD, uh, I'll give you a few challenges and hurdles and uh, my approach to solving them. The first was I chose a method called grounded theory. And uh, if you've heard of it, you'll know that it is a tough method to use. It's quite extensive and involved. And um, I've heard of um, <laughs> classes or universities even where students are almost even discouraged uh, to do grounded theory simply because it is so involved. But the, the satisfaction with doing it well and seeing the results of it, I think for me, outweighed it. But um, the, the challenge I think that I had to face there was getting to grips with grounded theory. So what did I do? I read. I just read and, um, you know, just did my, my research and got to grips with it. You know, I just immersed myself in the field. You know, I found experts, you know, I consumed their content, read their material, spoke to other people. I got a coach um, in New Zealand who had used ground of theory in a very similar study and uh, sort of spent time with him every few months just thinking through my approach, um, just getting his input on it, etc. So that was the first challenge. Second challenge was um, I had the 25 interviews and just to get access to the senior level of person and the experience that, that they needed to have was quite tough. Um, and getting them, you know, to, to, to agree to an interview, getting that consent form back because obviously you've got ethics clearance, you've got to sort out, etc. The logistics around getting the interviews um, was quite a challenge and I always advise students if you've got interviews then just start booking interviews start getting that set up as soon as possible because you don't want that to become um, a bottleneck on your progress so my approach to solving that was exactly that um, you know was to just I took four or five on the list I had a list of 60 and eventually only 25 of those committed to an interview and it was a big enough sample for my study which was which was good um, so you need to have enough interviews. If you don't have enough interviews, you don't have a study. And if you don't have enough interviews just because of logistics and planning, um, you know, that's unfortunate. So, 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 so get your interviews uh, set up uh, and booked and, you know, plan to do more interviews than what you actually need because people will cancel uh, interviews or fall by the wayside for whatever reason. Um, you know, so that's a big issue. And then the third big challenge for me was just time. Being a being a part time PhD student, I've got five kids. Uh, we have a busy family life. Uh, work full time. Have a senior and a demanding job. So time was a challenge, I think, for me. And the way that I overcame it was all the principles that I teach in my courses and on the YouTube channel. You know, so you know, get Kanban organized, master your tasks from to do to done, reach ninja level efficiency and productivity. There's power of ten minutes. There's burn your boats. There's the I will statements. All these things are what I've learned and applied in you know solving the issue of not having enough time to get all the things that you want to do i interviewed someone on the podcast recently and they just said stop watching netflix now that's absolutely will free up you know a couple of hours but i also enjoy watching netflix um <laughs> so, so i like watching a good movie every now and again or binging on a series um so i think it's important to do things that you enjoy you know whatever it is reading or cycling or running or doing exercise etc so don't deny yourself things that you enjoy doing but you know plan the other parts of your life well enough that you don't feel guilty when you sit down uh, and enjoy a bit of time off so my biggest challenges was getting to grips with ground of theory uh, the logistics of organizing all those interviews and then just time management and um, I don't have a course on ground of theory yet maybe comment below if you would like to see me put a course together on ground of theory based on my experience uh, in my PhD and the kind of course I would put together on ground of theory is what I wished I would have had that could just take me step by step you know through the process and what i need to do and how i need to do it etc so comment down below if you think that would be a useful course for you and then the other two obviously just time management um, project planning getting things done um you know those were the big the big sort of hurdles that i had to overcome um in my phd